At the end of this video, you're gonna learn how to film and edit a split screen music video with Filmora 9. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, it's JJ from Filmora here to empower your inner video creator. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you can get updated on our next video releases. Have you seen this type of music video lately? screen music video is a great way to show off your musical skills, bond with your family and friends, or try a new editing trick. In this video, Johnny's going to teach you techniques on how to film this style of video. And then I'm going to show you how to edit it together using Filmora 9. Hey guys, Johnny here. Today I'm going to show you how you can shoot your very own split screen music video at home. So obviously you're going to need a few things. You're going to need a room to shoot in. You're going to need a camera. Ideally, you'll have something like an audio recorder or a computer to record right into. If not, you can shoot with your camera. Just make sure that your audio is not overloading. Maybe do a test run first to double check to make sure it's sounding good. And finally, the most important thing you're going to need is a metronome. Now, why do you need a metronome? Well, the reason is, when you're shooting a split-screen music video, you need to be playing music in time with yourself. Now, if you have a backing track that you're covering, this can help, but otherwise, I recommend that you use your smartphone, you download a metronome app, you put your headphones in one ear, and you play in time with a tempo that you choose for your song. That way, everything will stay in sync when you bring it into Filmora 9. Anyway, let's get into shooting the video. The song we're going to be covering today is called Love Games by the artist Neva, who's a good friend of mine. Uh, she's a pop artist, and I really suck at pop, so instead we're going to be doing a rock version of it. One last reminder, make sure to use that metronome. It's very important. So let's get into it. Let's do the first part, which is laying down the beat. All right, so we're done our first part, and now I'm gonna to switch to another instrument and another setup, and we're gonna record all our other parts this way. Let's get into it. All right, so we finished recording our song, and we are now gonna import all of our footage into Filmora 9. Off to you, JJ. Thanks, Johnny. Now let's start the edit. It can be a little overwhelming to start editing a split screen music video. So to make it easier, I began getting all of my clips on the timeline. Now let's sync up our individual music video clips using their waveforms. Syncing the clips will make our lives easier when we start using the built-in split screen function. To sync up each clip, let's take a look at the audio waveforms and see where they end. I use the playhead as a guide to sync the end waveforms of each track. So once the waveforms all line up with the playhead, I knew all my tracks were roughly synced. After you sync it up, play it back to make sure everything sounds alright. It's a bit too loud, so let's turn them all down a little so they don't peak. The amount you turn it down will depend on your audio. To know when it's good, just check the audio meter when you play the video. If it's not going into red, it's all good. Now since your sound is good to go, edit your clips so they're all the same length and time. After that, we need to export each clip individually. I suggest you mute the other tracks to keep the individual audio and not a mix. That way you can cut to just that individual instrument. To mute one clip, right click in the timeline and then hit mute. After each layer is muted, export a video using the export button. After it's done, repeat for the other instruments. You should have one instrument on each layer and an individual video for each instrument after this. If you're exporting a video that has video layers above it, to hide the video track, just click the eye on the left side of the timeline. Also, don't forget to mute and unmute the correct layers to get an individual export. And lastly, make sure to name your exported clips clearly so when you bring them back into Filmora, you know exactly which clips to use. Each export is going to take a while, so let's jump to the part where they're all exported. After each clip is exported, unhide your layers, but keep your clips muted. You'll see why soon. 
and then import the synced exported videos into Filmora. Go up to the split screen tab and select the split screen you like and put it on your timeline. Double click it so its properties show up. Now click on the advance button. A new window will appear and this is where you can add your video clips and make some minor adjustments. So let's drag our clips to the location where we want each clip and play it back. They're all synced up because of the work we did earlier. If you want to make more audio edits, go up to the audio tab and then adjust however you need with the volume slider. As you can see, the framing of each split screen isn't that great. To adjust the framing, hit the video tab on the top of the window. Select which clip you want to adjust, then use the controls on this tab. If you want certain clips to appear at a certain time or cut earlier, you can adjust their length in this window, just like you would in the timeline. So it turns out the split screen has a still of each clip on it, even though I want it to appear once the instrument starts playing. I want them to appear when they begin playing their music. To do that, click OK, and then go back to the timeline. To cover up a part of the split screen, we need a white solid so that the white lines of the split screen aren't displayed. So let's get a sample color and lay it on top of each still that isn't playing. To do that, go to the media library, then sample colors, and then choose a white solid. Drag it to the layer above the split screen. Double click it so that the properties appear, and then adjust the scale and position. Do this for each section you don't want to see. Make sure to cut the split screen for when the instrument begins to play, or where you made the cut in the split screen window. The last thing I want to do is cut to full screenshots of instruments. An easy way to do this is to put the split screen on the bottom layer, and then sync the full screen clips above it. Then cut accordingly. Now let's check it out. That's it for our tutorial. There are so many ways that you can expand on this video, so make sure to explore your creativity. So if you make one of these music videos, we want to see it, so make sure to link it in the comment section below. And if you want more video editing tips and tricks like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, keep creating, and I'll see you next time! Bye!